Hello well, everyone, so we just finished running here at Bang Wadem in Phuket, Thailand. I'm carving up on um, coconut sugar. Yeah. Here is Sota, the fastest runner in Phuket. Okay, so the first question is what do you think about refined sugar? Um, I think I'm not really experienced, but I guess like natural sugars are better. I wouldn't. I wouldn't just copy Jerry right and go full on refined yeah. sugar in, in the water bottle. <laughs> I mean, or don't replace whole foods with uh, yeah. refined sugar. Uh, you can add refined sugars, like after training or in between like meals where you feel like go for a long hike or yeah. something. But don't replace your breakfast. I mean, especially your lunch and dinner with things yeah. like juices and stuff. You agree? Yeah, I mostly get my sugar from like fruit. Yeah. Yeah. Fruit is really bad, really yeah. good. Sorry. That's the proper sugar. Yeah. And what do you think about vasectomy? <laughs> um, I'm more in like take part side for this one. Oh. Like, you don't I, know yet, yeah? Huh? You don't know yet. No. Oh, no well, take part. Take part likes like children. He. Mm. He likes them and yeah. you know, they're the future. I like children also, but when I when I see what's waiting for them, like the future, like it's not yeah, really bright. I yeah. kind of agree with yeah. Tech Car, but at the same time, yeah, the yeah. world is getting... The world is fucked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know, I, I stand in the middle. But and there's way too many people in the world already. Yeah, yeah. And there's many people would actually appreciate it to... I uh, understand both sides, yeah. right and Tech Car. Who do you think is a favorite uh, for Olympics this year? Five thousand meters. Five thousand meters. Uh, I haven't kept up with running a lot, so I'm not really sure. But I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone's got the gas. So. <laughs> think it's G Galen Rupp? Yeah, Galen Rupp is up there. Yeah. My coach actually. Uh, with uh, him what's before. that guy from the uh, UK? The black guy? Yeah, Mofara. Mofara? Mofara's up there, Kaylin Rock is up yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're the two fastest, if, probably. If Michaela is still running, the Who? brothers. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if they're. Ethiopian brothers, they, they're yeah, up yeah. there. Yeah. If they're still running. Uh, and lots of other Ethiopians. And there's Kenyans as well. Yeah, Kenyans, yeah, yeah. Kamoror and. Uh, I forgot. There's mm. a few others. The runners up there. Yeah, yeah. It's just who's gassed up the most. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what sport do you like to watch the most? What event uh, at the Olympics? In Olympics, seems a lot of my friends are swimmers. I, I find swimming interesting, but there's a lot of juicing going on there as well. Are I they think. are there Olympic swimmers from your school? Uh, there's Adria? two people with Olympic qualifying times for me, but they didn't get selected by the country because they had faster mm. people. So. They technically can go, but they didn't go. Mm. Yeah. Michael Phelps is on juice. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. But <laughs> and I Usain mean, Bolt. Yeah. Mm. Usain Bolt for sure. Uh, but I don't really mind if they're juiced up because it's good entertainment. So it's not just the weed. <laughs> huh? It's not just the weed they're smoking. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's good entertainment though. So. Do you think it's a it's a kind of marketing that, like. Lots of Russians are banned from Olympics because they're not really like uh, big names. People don't come yeah, to see yeah. Olympics because of uh, yeah. Russian athletes, but they come to see like Michael, Michael Phelps. Phelps Bolt, so yeah, so they, if they if they get banned, nobody would come to Olympics, right? Yeah, so they they um, so they pretend to catch like yeah um, like not well known athletes, yeah, and yeah. then they look like they're doing their job properly by exposing. The cheaters, but yeah. in reality, it's the top level athletes that are doping. Mm. Yeah, but it is. Everyone. Yeah, in my opinion, you can get to the Olympics without doping, but yeah. you can't win if yeah. you're not doping. Yeah, yeah. You true. can qualify and you can go to Rio. Uh, you need, you need those yeah. two extra seconds. Yeah, those yeah. two extra seconds, yeah, you need yeah, a. That's huge, oh, yeah. yeah. K race as well. That's where all the, you know, juice comes Yeah, from. yeah. <laughs> Do you like trail running? Uh, I've only done one trail run race, mm. which is 8k, and I want to start doing more, so, mm. well, we, us two have a friend called Nathan, well, I don't yeah. really know him, but apparently he's yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah, I've never met him before, but mm. 
And yeah, mountain you know biking? I mean? Mountain biking? You think it's good? Yeah, I used to mountain bike. Yeah, that's. You fun. used to? Oh, yeah. really? But I've never done trail running. Because so there are lots of I'm trails in, in Phuket, in those yeah, mountains yeah. over here. The world is heading in the next few years. Like, think it's going to be more traffic and. Or uh, do you think that people will preserve the nature or it's going to be more trees cut down and. I think when oil runs out, that's when everyone's going to wake up and then. You know, start caring about the environment. Yeah. Right now we have oil still, and we're gonna run out of it soon. That's when you know people will start to like realize and be environmentally friendly. They'll make like mm. electronic cars. Yeah, especially and, uh, in Asia, I see people are not really environmentally aware, like yeah. in Thailand. And in Phuket, there's no public transport, so everyone rides the motorbikes and, and cars. And cars. Yeah, and it's a not many it's a big problem. Yeah. And there is no pathways for like walking or running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's one big problem we have in Phuket. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the interview, and I'll see yeah. you on the race on, on, yeah. on Friday. In two days. Two days, yeah.